Hey guys, Gary here. I uh, hope everybody's doing really fantastic this Labor Day. I hope it's been a really good uh, Labor Day holiday weekend for you. Um, this has been a really busy day for me. Uh, I've got a lot, uh, did quite a bit today, pretty busy day. It, well, it wasn't off from work for the holiday, it was just a regular day off for me. Um, and Felt kind of poorly today. I don't know what it is. Like maybe I'm a little queasy, a little headachey, a little lightheaded, you know. I don't know what that's about, but, um, you know, it could be worse, right? Uh, and not to complain, it's always boring. But I um, wanted to uh, talk about a few things and try to do it quickly. I only have a few comic books to show, uh, and I wanted to speak uh, very briefly about... Uh, the Grandmaster, the movie that we saw today. I was thinking about doing a separate video, but I think I'll just try to, you know, get them all in at once. My thoughts on Grandmaster will be short. Uh, and that doesn't mean I didn't like it, on the contrary. Uh, and a couple of other things real quickly. But um, to get to the book, I think we've got about half a dozen here. I've talked about Jonah Hex before, uh, and... I, I do get these. We, we enjoyed this uh, series. Uh, this is All-Star Westerns, Jonah Hex. I believe this is the most recent issue. I might be one behind. This is number 23. Uh, but, you know, Jonah Hex is kind of a staple at my house. I really get this for my uh, stepdad, who's a huge uh, Jonah Hex fan. And uh, it seems like there's a big ad on every other page. Okay. All right, I'm getting the drift of this. Uh, but anyway, nice cover. Always pretty good, clean, dependable uh, read. Lots of fun. Jonah Hex in the side of the background. You probably can't see it, but it says, Welcome to Gotham City. So that's interesting, of course. Um, Guillermo del Toro's trilogy, the Strain trilogy, marches on with book two of The Fall. Uh, this is uh, adapted by... Uh, uh, David Latham and Mike Huddleston and Dan Jackson. Uh, I highly recommend this series as well as the the three books that make up uh, the fall. I highly recommend these. Recommend those as well. This is a really creep, creepy, creeped out, creepy, creeped out story uh, that's uh, very enjoyable and really just as the I felt the novels did. Uh, the comics just get better with every issue as they go along. I mean, you know, the suspense and the terror and the plot line develops in uh, just very interesting ways. I think this is going to be my last issue of Thanos Rising. And it's just the wimpiest reason in the world. This is number five, and it may be a limited series. I don't know. But I like it. Um, I think that it's well written and well done. And, but I'm the only one at my house who enjoys this book. I think the artwork is really terrific. Very vibrant uh, colors. Interesting writing. Um, you know, some good stuff in here. But the other guys at the house don't much care for Thanos Rising. And uh, my brother said he's too mean. I think I said that in a previous video. I'm like, what do you mean he's Thanos? Of course he is. But, you know... Yeah, and he says, well, he says something, what did he say? He's a villain, but he's not, he's too much of a realistic meaning. So I don't quite know what that means, but, you know, and one of the best books out there, Thor, God of Thunder, uh, which, this is issue number, I think Curse of Man talked about this in uh, his uh, Wednesday night video that he and, um, Ben do and uh, Coos Crusader Crusader show, uh, which I highly recommend to you guys. And this is really I did read this, and it's really a very touching issue. I thought this this page was fantastic. This is a uh, Thor taking off in flight with the lightning around him, and you see his hammer. You really see him coming at you. It's really a great dynamic. Rendering there, God, a Thor, God of Thunder, highly recommended. One of the best books out there, especially if you're a Thor fan. By all means, do not miss that one. I uh, haven't read uh, Justice League yet. This is really a sick issue. 
It's, uh, and again, you know, I said it many times, and I'll say it again. I'm a huge Jeff Johns fan. Like his work a lot. I think he's one of the best comic book writers there is. And I always look forward uh, to his to his writings and the and the books that he that he works on. I always look forward to what he what he does. Justice League, Eternity War, Part Six of Six on that one. And I'm very sad to say, and I first heard about uh, the end of the Dark Shadows Year One run with the next issue. This is issue five, and this is a really terrific cover. And perhaps this was meant to be uh, as a six-issue series, but I've talked before about how this book is really superb. I th and I think even if you're not a Dark Shadows fan, and why wouldn't you be? What's up with that? Um, I think that you would like this. Uh, and the thing that I, you know, and I think with Art Dowdy, uh, I first heard talk about it, that the next issue is supposed to be um, the last. And also, I've sadly heard they've canceled the uh, regular series of Dark Shadows comics that are, uh, I think, on issue number 23 now. And I think the next issue is supposed to be the last. And um, so, and that one, frankly, it started out pretty good. But somewhere along the way, it just kind of, you know, fell off the map. Uh, but it always had good artwork. I think just the writing was suffering. What I like about this one, what I really appreciated, uh, is that it really captures the, you can see uh, Ben, uh, ben Stokes, the caretaker there. I loved it that they included uh, that character in these books. They usually, you rarely see Ben. Uh, he was played by the wonderful actor, uh, Thayer David on the show, who was um, who was Professor Stokes uh, on the show, and he also played the wonderful Count Patoffi, if you guys remember him and his, uh, his search for his hand. And uh, he was also in the past the uh, couple of storylines, the family's uh, uh, like a servant, uh, Ben Stokes, and. This, uh, what I really love about, get, to get back to what I really love about Dark Shadows Year One is that better than any Dark Shadows adaptation that, or, you know, attempted reincarnation that there has been over the years, this, I believe, has captured the essence uh, of the show better than anything ever done. And God knows there's been, everything about it is just superb. The artwork, the writing on it is really good, um, and there have been, uh, the actress Laura Parker, who played the witch Angelique on the show, just released her third Dark Shadows novel, I think a week or so ago, uh, Wolf Moon Rising, uh, and uh, there's audio uh, book, there's audio uh, recordings of the original actors from the show, some of them recreating their roles. Uh, and audio dramas, there's a lot of those. I think they do about three or four a year. Uh, and, of course, there was the reboot of the show in the early 90s, which uh, had some good things about it, but, you know, uh, really didn't work. And, uh, gosh, I don't know, what are other comic books, uh, you know, of the years. And to me, what I really love about this is that it illustrates my point once, finally, and hopefully for all, that it is possible to do a good new version of Dark Shadows. I'm sorry that the filmmakers of a movie that came out last year, you know, weren't aware of that, but it is possible to maintain the integrity and the tone of the original show, and this book right here has done it better than anything that I have uh, encountered post uh, Dark Shadows, the original show. Also, there's two big, I uh, haven't really seen anyone talk about the uh, the uh, comics. Uh, there's two comic awards going on. The Eisner Awards are later this week, and we also have the uh, Harvey uh, Awards. And uh, you've got, and I'm not going to name, there's too many uh, of these to name. They've got like uh, uh, 
you know, the best letterer, the best colorist, the best online comics work, and I've not heard of those five books, Bandit, Battle Pug, The, Dr the Dreamer I've heard of, N Nimona, Sheldon, haven't heard of any of those, certainly haven't read them. Best American edition of a foreign material, best anchor, um, and that those awards are going to be announced, I think, in just a couple more days, two or three more days, but the Eisner Awards are this week and the uh, Harvey uh, Comics Awards, and I think that's something for us to uh, look forward to. Best Artist, uh, uh, David uh, Aja, or Aja, Hawkeye, Marvel Comics, Greg Capullo, Batman, uh, Mike Norton, Revival for Image, uh, Chris Samney, Daredevil, Marvel Comics, Fiona Staples, Saga, uh, Image Comics, I think that's going to go to Fiona. Don't you? Uh, best single issue or story. So that's something really uh, enjoyable to look forward to uh, in a few days. The uh, Eisner Awards and the Harvey Awards. There are some excellent uh, comic book industry, industry honors out there that I think really don't get enough attention uh, in the uh, comic book uh, community. And uh, did go to the movies for the day to see uh, Wong Kar Wai's latest film, I think first film in five or six years, The Grandmasters, uh, the uh, Grandmaster, the uh, Kung Fu movie about the It Man, and um, I enjoyed it. I'm a huge uh, Wong Kar Wai fan. As some of you know, uh, I'm a big movie fan, movie lover. I've got a Facebook page, Movie Magic Mesmerize Me, where we go pretty much 24-7 uh, on films of all kinds, new releases, classics, foreign films, you name it. Uh, we don't really get into personalities or scandals or, you know, the love lives of stars or uh, peccadillos of directors or anything like that, you know. We really try to stay focused on film. I think the page works best that way if we keep the focus on the, um, the artwork of the cinema. And I'm going to provide a link with um, uh, for my movie page, Movie Magic Mesmerize Me, if any of you want to go there and check that out and join. Um, I'm on Twitter now, and I'm going to also provide, somehow I'm on Twitter. You know, I think it had something to do with R. Dowdy 95. I don't know, but somehow I managed to, I don't even know how it happened. I think I started liking people on Twitter or something, and suddenly, somehow I'm there. Uh, it's Onesie Angelique, but I'll provide a link, you know, uh, if you want to join me there. I am trying to check it out a couple of times a day. Uh, on the Grandmaster, um, the word is, is I, I liked it a lot. Um, Wong Kar Wai, if you're not familiar with him, um, he's done um, In the Mood for Love is one of his masterpieces, Ashes of Time, um, Happy Together is the late 90s. Um, uh, Chunking Express was a big film of his that some of you might uh, be familiar with, and uh, this is um, this is a huge scale um, uh, kung fu movie, kind of the story of the Ip Man, and um, um, I thought it was really good, extremely well done. Why is one of the great painterly visualists uh, and poets of the cinema? really a very poetic uh, and painterly. His images are, are just stunning. Some of the best committed to film and contemporary film, no doubt. And I've all, I love all of his films. I thought that this one actually, and the story is, is that there's, this film has been cut, there's titles have been added to kind of update you on the story and uh, uh, I, it kind of feels to me like they for the American edition, they have cut out parts, they've edited out parts of the story, and they've, um, uh, you know, put in these titles to say, well, this happened, then they went here in Japan and China, blah, 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 so-and-so went to Hong Kong, uh, you know, and uh, so on and so forth. And so, uh, and it seems a little overly stylized, you know, there's a little bit beautiful images, but just a little bit too much of you know, raindrops, uh, you know, majestically falling off a hat brim, see that several times, and uh, a little bit too much of uh, icicles crashing to the ground in slow motion, 
you know, could pick it up just a little bit. And so I'm eager. And so I liked it. And I definitely recommend it if you're a Wong Kar Wai fan. But uh, I'm really looking forward to the Blu-ray on this. The more extended versions, which uh, hopefully will come out, uh, you know, by the end of the year. Uh, I'm really eager to see that. So I would say if you're a Wong Kar Wai fan, it's a must-see. Uh, if you're not, uh, you know, just a fan of kung fu movies, um, you know, you might want to wait for the extended edition of this uh, on the Blu-ray. I'm glad to see I didn't, like I said, I didn't feel good today, and I almost backed out, but I thought, like, I've been waiting on this movie for years. It's finally come to my town. Didn't want to disappoint everybody else, you know, in our gang, so, you know, I just went, and um, I'm glad that I did. And I also want to just say very quickly in summing up, uh, I personally want to thank everybody who watches my videos, uh, especially those who watch and comment. I really appreciate it. I know some of you subscribe to me, and I may or may not be subscribed to you. I have very little time to watch videos. I do try to watch some, uh, and, you know, so, you know, please always know. I don't say this uh, often enough. You're, you're very appreciated. Uh, I really thank you for watching uh, my videos and supporting my channel. Um, I'm not the best comic book person on YouTube by any stretch, and I know it. Um, if you want superb comic book reviews and insight and entertainment, the best, uh, the best of the best to me are stop watching this right now. And go check out Howler Mouse. Check out Gambit896, who just puts out one wonderful video after another. Very insightful, very thoughtful, entertaining, one of the nicest, most decent people I've ever known. Gambit896, Sleepy Reader666, always interesting. You know, he's going to try to do a video for every day for the month of September. I don't know how to do that, but, you know, I'm going to try to watch them all. Always interesting. By all means, check him out. Um, Harry Monster 666, again, always, you know, I always learn something, uh, you know, which is a big thing for me. You know, I'm not, like, trying to show off what I know about things. I'm here to learn, uh, you know. So, uh, by all means, stop, stop, stop right now watching me. And go to, let me think, Ben, Mr. Fix-It Smash, Greco Fabulous, um, uh, Captain Strange Life, Hippie Collectibles, you know, who's, who's kind of like the king of comic books or something. I mean, my God, you know, just founts of uh, wonderful knowledge. Uh, always fun and interesting uh, videos, you know, and I don't know, R. Dowdy, you know, who's just this wonderful person, as well as just the probably the most entertaining person, uh, you know, on YouTube, uh, good friend, a lot of fun, and uh, really appreciate uh, all those great uh, videos. He just posted one a day or two ago, uh, opening of a box from King Joe, and uh, I think that I really love that video. I love, like, points he made about things, and I thought it was interesting, and kind of sent me off thinking, uh, you know, as well as being entertained, and I think that's a really great comic book mom who I guess is about to have her baby. Uh, you know, God bless and good luck to you and all, you know, so there's people on YouTube that are mountains above me as far as talking about comic books and you should be checking them out. If it means you abandon by the time you spent on my channel, you know, forget it, you know, I, I appreciate it and I hope you keep watching, but you know, um, the best of the best is out there and they're fantastic and I'm really grateful for them and they're an ongoing inspiration to me. And I really appreciate, you know, coming home and being able to check out these guys. And um, they really mean a lot to me. And uh, just, just, a lot of, just a lot of great entertainment and fun uh, and thoughtfulness along the way, too. So, let's see. The comic book, so I didn't really have a whole lot. And I think that was for two weeks. So, I don't know. I think my folder is getting a little bit spare. So, I need to work on that. Grandmaster, Sid, if you're... One Car Y fan, by all means. Otherwise, wait for the the uh, the real version, you know, the DVD, Blu-ray, and uh, we've got the Eisner Awards and the Harvey Awards this week. So be checking those out uh, as well. And I hope to see some of you other guys do videos on them as well. So look for my links below. Thanks for watching, and I hope all of you guys have a really great week.